Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. As I like to do once in a while, on an irregular basis, I want to do an update on employment, unemployment in the United States. So, we can jump right into that. And, you know, what you're hearing is how everyone, all these companies are hiring, you know, employment is, uh, you know, through the roof. We've got a worker shortage. And I, I deeply question that, uh, you know, there's no truth to it. So let's go to the information here. All right. So, well, I, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, all right, so this is about Cerner. Cerner's uh, Misty Preston, Cerner's Director of External Communications and Public Relations for Cerner, said, Today's event includes 500 associates out of our uh, 26,000 global associate base. They're laying people off. That's what it is. They're, they are laying people off. Cerner confirms layoffs in Kansas City as part of company transformation. Yeah, uh, so they're laying people off here. Uh, here's something that you should find interesting. Preston also said Cerner is still on track to hire 2,600 associates this year, and the layoffs were not targeted at one segment of the company. So they're laying people off, but talking about hiring other people. What does that mean? What is that means that they are laying people off that make a decent wage and hiring people in at lower wages. Exactly what I've been saying was going to happen. Now, who is Cerner? Cerner is a company that does electronic medical records and so here's another one Sutter Health sees more layoffs and other 400 jobs to be cut this, I'm not paying for this but uh, the layoffs bring Sutter Health's total number of jobs cut to about 677 this year on top of 800 jobs lost last year so if we're in a recovery, lost 800 jobs last year, and now you're still laying people off, bringing it to almost 1,500 layoffs. And one of the largest employers in the region. And so this is a medical system. This is a hospital. They're laying people off. Let's go to this. General Mills, the title says, General Mills may cut. All right. The company's headquarters campus in Golden Valley could see as much as 20% of its 3,000 employees cut. General Mills executives told employees Friday that its new layoff plans include 700 to 800 U.S. and Canada jobs and 500 to 600 international positions. The company is coming off one of its best sales years ever. Bolstered by the at-home lifestyles that resulted from the pandemic, consumers were cooped up cooking at home and looking for convenient quick meals. The last paragraph here. Executives acknowledge the surge is now waning, and the post-pandemic world will likely mean a return to the slow growth environment that's more typical for the company. But they said they aren't afraid of margin pressure and told investors the restructuring is related to broader changes such as the growing importance of e-commerce. Broader changes, which means the sur any surge has nothing to do with it. It means that they're just laying people off and these layoffs are permanent. That These jobs are not coming back. These jobs are not coming back. These jobs are not coming back. Let's go to the uh, uh, Department of Labor. All right, so in the week ending June 5th, advance, um, let's just go down here, forget it. Uh, all right, so 
they're talking about now this is just raw data this is just raw information it doesn't talk about why you know any numbers are changing initial claims for June 5th 376,000 from May 29th 385,000 so initial claims dropped by 9,000 that's it hmm. yep that's initial claims declined by 9,000 let's go further down all right so this is continued weeks for unemployment look at this total 15,000 uh, 15 million excuse me 15 million I've brought up before how the uh, unemployment is calculated and 15 million uh, uh, that's the labor per of the labor participation rate well the labor participation rate is at the lowest that it's been since what 1972 at least and it may be lower now they're just not reporting on it uh, so 15 million is 10 percent of the labor force right now uh, of the actual labor force 15 million is 10 percent but they're going to report it as 2.6 percent or something like that and why is there a decline well as of right now what 20, 25 states it's now up to 25 states have ended the supplemental unemployment on insurance benefits 25 states half of the United States have agreed and have either started or are starting to cut this so that means that fewer people are going to be eligible for unemployment benefits that doesn't mean that they've been employed once they cut those benefits they stop being counted pretty much right? if if they are not looking for a job they're not going to be counted in these numbers at all they will fall in that means the labor participation rate is going to drop further all right when they talk about some surge in cereal uh, price you know being over why is that maybe it's because people don't have the money to buy the cereal unless you can show where other things are being other food items are being purchased more that just means that more people are going hungry more children are going hungry so it's you should deeply question any of this talk about the unemployment they talk about you know manufacturing is going up and yet uh, Hyundai is in a suspension uh, of building new vehicles in Alabama yeah uh, you know the car industry is being hit hard having to shut down entire plants because of a microchip shortage well that microchip shortage also affects what cash register manufacturers um, medical device cell phones tablets and then that goes into retail if you don't have products to produce there are no products to sell so you wind up with a reduction in retail sales which means more layoffs all this stuff that is being handed to us is a complete fabrication when you're talking about in sheer numbers 15 million out of 150 some million at 10 percent of the labor force is unemployed right now and not talking about the people that have just given up this is yeah the unemployment 
the people filing for unemployment is definitely going to fall. And, but they're going to call it a lower unemployment rate, but they're not talking about, you know, who needs a job, but they've lost all hope. I ha am going to continue saying and continue saying, we need to rely on each other. We need to keep each other informed. We need to actually talk about this. We need to look around us at what is actually happening. So, please, talk about these things. Share this video. Talk about this stuff. If you can, donate a dollar a month to help expand the channel. I know it's not all cut and dried, and, and it's not as simple as all of this. But, you know, I cover many other aspects in other videos. So, you know, I don't just ignore other factors by any means. All right, so please talk, share this video, talk about these subjects, and I will catch you in the next video.